Hello, everybody. How are you? How are you? Today, we represent some world's finest chocolate. You see that? World's finest chocolate. So, Hello, everybody. They're actually, really good. Now, look at this. Why is it going like that? And I have another one. Yeah, why is it only say that trophy? Finest chocolate. Hello, everybody. Why is it only say that trophy is a market? What's your put? I don't know where the other one goes. That's weird. How's everybody doing today? Got a lot going on today, talking about the market. We're going to go over some of our plays from Tuesday. So if you were on here, you would probably know. Um, we got seven out of eight so far. And overall, how did we do it? I think we got like 29 out of 30. I think, yeah, I, was, I think some of those wins kind of offset though. The oh, yeah. One big time. Yeah, no, so we're doing, we're kicking butt this month. And, uh, you know, we just started keeping track of all the wins because that's, that's pretty cool. The troll. Who? <laughs> my yours. Well, my yours is a troll. Hydrate. Did you say hydrate? Yeah. Why? Hydrate. Not hydrate. Oh, the D money. Okay, yeah. Um. So yeah, today we're gonna go over some stuff, guys. Uh, we'll, we'll look at uh, a few stocks. We're gonna look at a few things. It's gonna be fun. I'm just trying to pin this real quick, guys, and then we'll get this day going. How's everybody doing? Say hello if you're in here. Hi. Alex, I see you're in here. Brian C. Johnson is in the building. Everybody's in the building saying hello. I love it. All right. So let's pin this. Come on. Where is it? Do you remember how to pin it? Um, let me see here, guys. Okay. We're, looks like we got some people in here. Just give me one second. Well, let's see. I have to play this head more. I don't know. What is it that you're trying to pin? This video to the top. Ah. Uh, I forget it. I thought you could do it afterward. But as long as we're live, it does show up at the top. Yeah, not always. All right, cool. So uh, let's go into the market, guys, and check out what's going on. Uh, a couple things today. You know, we're going to keep it not too, not too long today to get this going. I will show you a couple things that I'm seeing. Because, uh, hey, you know, it's fun. So let's, oh, hold on. Let's move this over here. All right, guys. So just kind of reviewing some of the things we're seeing going on today. Um, from what I'm seeing, what? No, I feel like you got to start from the bottom. That's right. Yeah, that's right. Started, started <laughs> yeah. as a banker. Now he's there. So as we talked about earlier for, uh, last week, I told you this is going to be a very bullish week. Be prepared. I hope you were. And we got exactly what we said we were going to get. Um, now, I have a good feeling about next week, man, because I'm seeing like a little bit of a downturn to the 200-day moving average. And we're seeing another good day. I know the volume's a little bit lower. But here's the thing. I think we might see a little bit of an upswing coming up. At this point right now, I'm looking at to break here. So that, that's going to be our next turning point. So definitely, definitely want to check that out, see where we could end up. So it's going to look, it's going to look pretty good. It's going to look pretty good. Felix, what's up, man? Hope everything good. Wild Orchid, I see in the building. How are you? All right, my your Devin, everybody, welcome. So we called out a lot of stocks last week. I just want to review a couple of them with you so you know exactly what we're, we have going on. Um, if anybody, if you could put in the video, if anybody want to, uh, Dave or Anthony, anybody on there, because apparently I can't. So any of the moderators, if you could, I appreciate it. All right. Uh, oh, you know what it is? I think I know what it is. I'm supposed to be in here. What it is. Aha. Uh -huh. Pin to feature. There it is. Okay. It was supposed to be in that line. All right. Cool. Uh, is that, that is spy. Yep. That's what we're looking at. What's up, Kelly? Kelly's one of our new members. Welcome again. She just joined this week. So welcome to the elite team. You're going to be seeing us going live many, many times here. So a couple stocks we reviewed last week, or actually on Tuesday, was Apple, which we saw a nice little upswing. I mean, I think we called us down the line. Can't complain about that. So if you just played this, I did get a notification. Somebody told me, oops, sorry about that, uh, that they made... <laughs> I think like three grand and just that call themselves. So that's awesome. Again, this was, this is Thursday, Wednesday. So we called it out here, all the way here. Mm -hmm. They played a nice, huge 
option. It was a short-term option, I believe they played. So that very, very nice on that. Uh, we got LAC. Again, man, come on, guys. What, what, what can I give you more here? So a, another huge play for us here. Uh, we called it out at this day. I think it was around mm -hmm. this area. So it went from around 31 to 35 and continuing to go. Um, still good volume. Still could be very, very good. I mean, hey, you got to put, you know, it's not just about us telling you what to do. It's showing you the numbers. So mm -hmm. far, you know, being 100% is pretty good. DocuSign is another one I like. You could see here another three days up. So really strong move there. Uh, I called out Tesla. Tesla, obviously, I told you I really love Tesla. I called this out, I believe, uh, last week around this area once it broke this point. Mm -hmm. I didn't do it publicly, so I apologize, but I did tell you again I liked it, and it went all the way to 1050. If you would have got in, you would have sold that. That would have been a very good play yesterday for sure. Mm -hmm. And that's what's good about the swing trading. Day trading, you can't really do it that well. It's a little, it's a, it's a lot harder to get that going. A lot of people get very stressed out. So we focus more on swing trading. Uh, another one we called out para went from uh, 36 to 38 and a half. So another win there. And we had AMX. AMX, boom, blowing it up a little bit today. So we had <clears throat> a nice upswing yesterday. And again, it came back today to 20 and a half. And I think it's still going, again, at this point, personally, I'm, I might sell because it hit this point. Yeah. So I would sell those. Again, that's what swing trading is, is getting in one or two days and boom, you're out. Uh, what else did we call out? Uh, DAR. So DAR, um, again, this was a big play, guys. This was a pretty big play. So we called it out uh, Thursday yeah, around game. here. Uh, um, I believe it was around 80 or 81. I don't remember. And we it opened up. So this is an important thing you want to understand. Once you get into a stock at 3 o'clock or something like that, um, you want to be able to really kill it. And right in the morning and close the position, you could see it open really nicely at the, at the top. This would have been a nice uh, collection here, mm -hmm. and you're good to go. Uh, th there is one that is not, so out of all those, we're killing it. MNTV is the one that is actually still mm -hmm. trying to wait there. Uh, we didn't make money on it yet, so, uh, but I'm not, again, it's not always going to be one day, two days. Sometimes it's going to be a week. I'm predicting it's going to keep doing it, and a good thing here. Um, I told you guys before, uh, my main concern is it doesn't go below this 50-day moving day average. So it looks like it's doing its thing, man. So going to keep it going. Right now, I think we're above, we picked about over 30 stocks this month. Yeah. And we are 100%. This would be the only one so far. Again, we're just waiting for it to do its thing right now. So again, what it shows is what we do works. And if you're in here, um, you probably want to make sure that you have watched the webinar that we have. So if you have not, it's going to give you a great understanding of what we do and show you how you could use this to utilize and make money. So if you haven't seen it yet, comment webinar below and we're good to go. Oh, that just tripped me out. Yeah. So just comment webinar below and Dave or Anthony are going to get back to you. And they'll give you, uh, they'll send you the link. We just can't send the links out here. So please just comment webinar below. All right, cool. So where to next? So now if, if you guys are new here, we what we do is uh, we pick out, we actually go based on your stocks. So any stocks you want us to look at, just let us know. Jordan Jackson, haven't seen him in a while. Birthday, How you man. been, man? Happy birthday. Jordan's yeah. his birthday? Yeah, today. All right. He's turned 21. <laughs> Congratulations. That's all wish Jordan Jackson, one of the uh, all-time beasts around here. Happy birthday, man. Happy birthday, brother. Um, Let me know what you're doing for your 21st. Hard to know. So let's check out some of the stocks that you guys already picked out. We got, we're starting with Neo, right? Yep. Uh, Neo is uh, exactly what, so I told you guys before, I do like it, I, I think uh, last week, once it broke through this and there, it did kind of go up, I didn't call it as one of my favorites, but it looks like we got here, uh, Timothy Hendricks, we're going to send you the webinar, so Dave, I know you're in there, help the gentleman out, um, right now, I think it's getting stuck. Yeah, I think you said you wanted to see it about 24 or 25. Yep. Did we celebrate Felix? I celebrate. I'm trying to remember your, your 21st birthday. 
I don't know what we did, but maybe, I don't know if it should be mentioned here. <laughs> <laughs> it's been, that, that was a long time ago. That's half a lifetime ago, literally. Um, so I'm a little concerned that it's getting stuck at the 50 moving average at this point. So I liked it and made some money. I like to see the 24 before we continue to do it. You'll be going to dinner with your family. Cool. The question is, what are you doing after the dinner with your family? That's the real question. Felix, what do we do on our on your 21st birthday? I cannot remember. What's next? Uh, boil. What? <laughs> boil. Like boiling water? Yeah. Oh. Um, so boil has a lot of gaps in their stock. So that's always, a, a, um, to me, a very a seasonal spaces. On. Yeah, there's just too much inconsistency. So you don't want to see, I like, guess it's nice that it's went up that much. That's great. But guess what? It also comes down that much. So <laughs> things like this could really be off. I will say this could be a nice little risky move because I'm liking that it's breaking this trend. So it's kind of nice. And I like that it's increasing volume. Would I bake it as a favorite? Probably not. But if I would put a few dollars in just to see what happens, because if it does pop, it could pop all the way to over here, which could be big money. Also, with that type of volatility, we got to look at options and things like that and see how that's working for us. So hope that helps there. I don't know why, like my volume, I have it down and it still doesn't work. Really weird. Where to next? Uh, GLDM. Going to the club with my friend. Okay. See, I knew Jordan. Come on. Trying to play the love. play the family card on me here. What's the next? Uh, GLDM. Hope you have fun, man. Enjoy twenty first birthday. Those are always fun. Uh, I, I, in fact, I still remember uh, Felix's twenty first birthday. That was a good time. Remember, Felix, we did what again? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, this one came down. Um, this might be a good one right here. I, it's looking like it's kind of has this A to B, B to C, C to D pattern. <laughs> Right. Uh, and I like that it's breaking the average. So I'm going to say, I think I might pick this as a favorite because I like that it has decent volume right now mm -hmm. and we're seeing some momentum. I think by next week, this thing is going to do its thing. So, um, yeah, I like it. Yeah, me and Felix, we did, oh, I remember on his 21st birthday, we sat down, got our stuff together, got dressed up, and we did stocks. <laughs> <laughs> see, see, we just had dinner with the fam. Uh -huh. That's all it was. This one's getting squared away. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna like, I like this one. I think this is something. Um, it's a spider stock. It's gold. Yeah, I, I think this, this is a nice little move to the top. Not crazy amounts, but I think what I'm seeing is a nice shift. Give it some time. So you might see it go down a little bit today, maybe even uh, tomorrow. You know, tomorrow. But I think next week is where we're going to see some coolness. Where's the next? The coolness. Uh, T-F-I-I. -I. I don't know. T-F-I-I. -I, uh, very. Some of the stocks look so similar. I'm like, wait, didn't we talk about this one? Uh, this one's just stuck in the resistance right here. It's been stuck. It's very, very uh, pissy. It has an attitude problem with, with this channel here. So it's not looking like it's leaving. So to me... I'll be very careful because the moves that are down to the downside could be very yeah. detrimental and it could hurt like a 21st birthday or the day after. Yeah, the day after for sure. Yeah. So yeah, me, I'm glad Felix remembers what we did 20, 20 years ago. Uh, me, you know, me and Felix used to go, uh, we used to play some crazy, crazy tennis. I believe that. Huh? I believe that. I thought you were going to joke around and say disc golf. No, no. I, that was something new. No, we played a lot of uh, tennis, and then we, we used to get into some ping pong matches. <laughs> What's next? Um, I-O-N-Q. I-O-N-Q. Felix, remember the good old days? The tennis matches? Play basketball? It was good times, man. Uh, now, we, we, we got, now we got promoted to kids. <laughs> Uh, so this one's been like stuck over here and it's a nice consolidation coming in. I think once it breaks any of these two blue lines, we got something good going, but I would really like to see this at around 18, $18, even uh 16 or 17, I'd be okay with. So, and I think that would help us get to that, that A to B, B to C, C to D pattern. So that's what I'm thinking there. Uh, we got NVAX. Who? And back. <laughs> and back. And back. 
<laughs> oh man, he remembers when we used to play basketball in Brooklyn. Do you see that in Sheepshead Bay? That's a nice area. If anybody knows familiar with New York, some, yeah, they have some nice basketball parks. We had, we had a good time. So you get to know a little bit of what we used to do. Uh, so this one, again, very strong consolidation as well on this one. Uh, I'm going to tell you right now, I wouldn't invest in it right now. But man, if this gets to like around 91, 92, around right here. Again, this is when I say this, this is a good opportunity for you to put this on a watch list. And once it gets there, man, that's how you set up some good plays for the long term. And once you get accumulate a lot of different watch lists that give you alerts and when to go, that's when things become uh, really serious and you could accelerate your account real fast. That's exactly what we teach you in our webinar as well. So if you haven't seen it, check out our webinar, comment webinar below, and uh, we could help you out. And hey, we also have coaching as well. So if you're interested in getting some one-on-one -on -one coaching through uh, with Elliot, so we could mentor you one-on-one -on -one, so to give you a plan for you to leave your job and be able to actually make money on your trades like we've been doing, 100% almost basically. Mm -hmm. Um, then uh, comment coaching below. We uh, we ran out of spots for March. I think we're, we're just doing a waiting list right now. So if you're interested, uh, just let us know. Uh, we could set up a, um, we could definitely set up something for you, uh, an interview and help you out. Just comment coaching below. Don't miss out on opportunity when the, when the spaces open up again in April. If, uh, as of right now, I think I'm not even sure we have any. So right now it's a waiting list to see. I know we have a few people starting. What's next? Um, trend, T-R-I-N. T-R-I-N is way too stretched at this point. So if you're in it, good for you. But you could see here, it's going up beautifully and it's coming down to the volume. Um, it's Like I said, it's, it's already the party's over on this one. Even if it does go up, it's mostly a risk. We try not to do risks. We want to be able to make consistent gains. It's not about making huge huge gains in one stock it's all about consistently making money so you don't want to make 10 grand in one day and then lose 15 the next where's your next uh e n p h n phase I think. e n p h is n phase yep um again same thing with this one and you could see it kind of coming up it has this b b to c a to b b to c and all the way up and that's a nice position where it's at i do like it because it broke this line, but it's doing it a very subtly. And my issue is this, when you're doing it on decreasing volume like this, um, there's just not enough gas for it to continue going up. So I, I could see a retracement or maybe a slight gain, not enough for me to say, yeah, I want to do this too, too much risk to reward on this one. Where to next? Uh, AVGO. AVGO. All those stocks? Yeah. All those? Yeah. Holy crap. Uh, ooh, now AVGO, looking good. I'm liking what I'm seeing here in AVGO. Looks to me like we just broke this uh, consolidation here or this uh, trend. Um, so, yeah, I like this one. I don't like the volume. I don't like the volume. But, oh, man, I feel like it's got a one day in it. What do you yeah, think? I think the volume will, will be stronger by the end of the day at least. Yeah, I'm going to say to like two mil, that'd be awesome, I think. Yeah, um, but I'm going to say I, I'm going to put this on the list. Okay. I think I'm going to take the risk and the volume on this one because I feel like it's it may not totally go up the next day to the mat, to the moon or it might do something like this where we have a few days like this and then boom. Okay. And again, if you look at something like this, you could see on this day here, uh, oops, like that. There was volume and it was okay. It wasn't bad. It was pretty good. But then later on, it, it gave us that move. So it could be like a, a week until we see huge gains. But I don't, I think the risk to reward here is huge because it's stuck at these areas. So it might come down a little bit before it goes up, but I, I, I doubt it, man. I'm liking that one. So whoever picked that one, good job. Where to next? EC. Uh, EC just had a nice move yesterday. So see something like this, I might like, and I'll tell you why. Because you could say, oh, it's stretch, right? Mm -hmm. But because of this strong volume, I think it has this A to B, B to C. What is going on with this thing today? Uh, let me draw better lines, guys. Sorry about that. So you got the A to B, B to C, C to D broke out. 
it's kind of holding this, but I feel pretty confident it's going to continue going up. You see how it has that cross over here. It's got the switch over here. And the more importantly, it's just the amount of volume. So let's go back here and see. Last time I had these types of volumes. I'm going to do a vertical line to make it a little more accurate. You can see boom. And look what happened after that. A huge explosion. Boom. Another huge explosion. Here's another one. You could see here. So this one is another huge explosion. But this was at the end of it all. Yeah. So that was at the end. And then here we had uh, another drop. But once the drop happened, you could see. Here it is, and it as another. So it's what I'm saying is, if you buy a longer term option, you might see this come down to two dollars and lose money short term. But long term, I don't see. It. I think it's going to continue doing the, what it's doing because of the strong volume. So I would say a longer term, like a two weeks, I think this thing's going to do great. Probably even less than that. But I like this. Which <clears throat> Where's the next? Um, Pags. P A G S. Oh, uh, this one's this one's good too, but I think it might need a little bit of a retracement already. So this was good when it broke through here, right there. It broke through the 50-day moving day average, another good day. So you just got to be careful here because a lot of times things like this will start coming to the downside, at least for a little bit until it retraces again. So I would just wait. Um, eBay. Uh, eBay, let's see. So eBay stuck in the 50 day moving day average. Be very careful with them because we did have a nice run, which I did expect. I did talk about that in the past, but well, you got to be careful here. It's getting rejected by this and it's re getting rejected and decreasing volume. I do not, I think this could just come down a little bit before it continues going up. But it, it, overall, it's still a bearish stock. It's below both of its averages. So until it breaks that, just look at the, look at the pattern. It's been it's been very stuck to their moving day average. So now that it got to 50, don't be surprised if it's, it starts going back down. Uh, AMSC. Um, AMSC is in consolidation. Way too little bit of volume on this one. So be careful. It's very, look at 280,000. So I don't recommend trading something like this um, at all, especially when you're doing options. If it has options, yeah, it does. You're going to see some crazy bid asks on those. So I would recommend not doing anything. You could really get hurt. Should we enter trades on Fridays? Um, I don't I don't enter trades on Fridays, Christian. And you're part of our paid group. I know you just started. Um, unless you're doing like the paycheck collector or spreads, because those are our passive income kind of thing. So those are great on Fridays on a weekly schedule. So once you go through our course, you'll see... Um, uh, we talk about a weekly strategy. I don't talk about it too much on this channel. So that's more for our elite members. And again, if you want to become an elite member, comment coaching below. We'd love to talk to you about it. Uh, but yeah, I would say things like this, absolutely not. You don't want to do anything like that because you don't know what's going to happen on the weekend. You want to do it anywhere from Tuesday, you know, Tuesday, not even Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, possibly even Thursday. Definitely want to get out of all your positions on Friday. Unless, unless, of course, you're doing some specific paycheck collector strategies that we teach you. Those are great on Friday. NVIDIA. NVIDIA. NVIDIA is looking pretty good. Huh? Oh, no. Yeah, so this one broke through a very strong resistance. I like that. Um, so, yeah, broke through this resistance pretty strongly. I know Elliot really likes that. Uh, very good volume. Very good volume. Uh, overall, I think this is a good play. I'm going to say good on this one. The only concern I have here, honestly, is right here. Like how much more? Yeah. Yeah, it, it's sitting this resistance pretty strongly, I think. So I would say I would, uh, you know, I would, I like it. I think it's a very adorable stock for <laughs> sure. I just think I want to see it get to 290. Once it gets to 290, man, pa pa pa, we get it. We will get it for Not sure, guys. Box, really. Very, very nice. But so yeah, I would say, um, man, I'm gonna say I'm no right now because I want to wait for that 290. That's all. Ace Bush Ron, what's up, my man? Uh, BAC. BAC. You guys gave us a lot of stocks. <laughs> this is a lot, man. We're gonna have to cut some stocks off here. Holy crap! Uh, yeah, this one here. So we're gonna start really, uh, guys. We're gonna really start going through these quick because there's a lot. Um, yeah, be careful with this one. It's, it just got rejected by the 50-day moving day average. 
It's right between its 200. Very, very weird position. Not something I could predict very well. So for me right now with the financials, be careful. We just came from a bullish run. So I'd be very careful of that. Rio. Rio? Mm -hmm. Rio, uh, again, a lot of gaps in this one. So, you know, a lot of gaps equals a lot of volatility, which could not be good for options, number one. Number two, um, just very unpredictable. I don't. I would not trade something like this. You're, you're asking for a big gap down, which could really affect your account. Um, SWN. SWN. SWN looks good, but it's not. And part of it is because of the fact that... Um, it's just hitting this spot right here. So to me, it's when it has such two big days, you want it to do good. And listen, you could have another big day, but the risk to reward could be detrimental. You know, I like that it has this A to B, B to C, but these, and then coming right back up. But how far will it go? If it breaks, depending on volume, I might say we might have a good day. So I would say there's probably a good day in it if it breaks through 620 first. Where to next? HFC. HFC. All right. So right after the HFC, guys, we're going to go to another one because there's also HFC. Uh, to next? PSX. If you, uh, HFC, let us know. Oh, it's your favorite. PSX. <laughs> uh, PSX could be good. There's some good setups happening. Again, patience is key right here, okay? Uh, you could see it's forming this po point right here. Man, would I love to see this get to 86. 86 would be beautiful Um, because we need to see more increasing volume. I like the momentum, but again, it's a lagging indicator. So I'm going to say if I had to do long term, absolutely. I'm getting into this because I think it's going to get to 93. But if we want to do short term, let's really time it right. The key is timing everything. So 86 to me is a good time to get to the top. Where's the next one? Uh P R N T P. Oh, but before we go into that, we this is our heartbreak moment. We want to see how many of you like the show by giving us some hearts while I hydrate because somebody told me to hydrate. Oh no, they said something else. So let me see if you're if you're liking the show. Can I get some hearts? Peter Kriparporas, Thomas Lannon, Ace Bush, Mahabubul Alam. What's up, Christian? Let me get some hearts in here. I'm loving it. Thank you, thank you. I know. Uh, Marsha Ellison's throwing some out there, man. Marsha, how you been? That's Felix, great, let right? me get some tennis rackets in here. Let's play. Jordan Jackson. Hey, guys. And if, if Jordan Jackson has given us so many good stocks at the end, in the past few yeah. months, please give him a wish him a very happy birthday. Jordan Jackson, enjoy your 21st. Um, I, I think I just Googled it. At, at 21, you could drink alcoholic beverages, apparently. So you are allowed to just for the day. I don't know if you've ever had one, but you're allowed to do it today. I hope Vlad's glad, feels glad to be Vlad. Mayor, bro, Vlad is not mad to be Vlad or glad or sad or none of that. So this Dr. Seuss stuff going on. Thank you for the hearts, guys. Really appreciate it. And Kelly, man, welcome, welcome. Um, a lot of new clients here, man. Christian in the house. Loving it, loving it, loving it. All right. Who's ready to get back into this? We got so many more stocks. And look what I got now. Huh? Huh? Uh-huh. Look at that. All right. So <laughs> you don't hate, appreciate. All right. Where's the next? Um, Thank yeah. you for the hearts, everybody. Thank you. Appreciate it, man. PR. Let's should always feel glad to be glad. Man, what's up with you? He's like, my you were he's in the Seuss bag. No, he, he's coming up with a new rap album. You got to hear about it. He's trying to promote. I know what you're trying to do. <laughs> Where's the next? PRNT. PRNT is very bearish right now. I know the, uh, some of the things I like about it, but not really. So it's coming down. Again, it's very close to breaking this. So if it breaks, I would love to see it. Like get it to like a 30. Get it to 30 with the volume I see. That's what I do like. I think there's some promise with this volume. Um, but again, sometimes it's just a thought and we need a little bit more than just a thought. I need to see it break to around 30 and uh, even 30 and a half to see that go to the top. I feel good about it. And I think it will because of this volume that we saw a couple of days ago. So stay tuned to a theater near you. I even want to say that I would risk it and not wait, I would say that because of that volume. So I don't miss out, but
But again, you if you do that, it's all a risk of reward. Oh, Wild Orchid gave me big hearts. You see that? That's mm -hmm. that, that deserves like a hard back, man. See, we got to give you a hard back on that one or a like, one of those things. So yeah, um, the risk, the reward is could be great. Just understand it could come down before it goes up. So if you want to wait, it really depends. I would, me, myself, I might play this, but be, when I do uh, lives like this for a mass audience, I like to be a little safer and give you the safer play. So sometimes you'll see me, I'm a, a lot safer here than maybe on our elite channel with people who already got this down. And if you're not part of our elite program, definitely comment below. And hey, Mayur, <laughs> he's got, a, he says, a, I less than three Elliot. Hmm. What's going on here? He likes you less than three. <laughs> Janelle Coates, how are you? Where's the next? KMX. What is it? KMX. All right, KMX right now is hitting this uh, su support line over here. Mm -hmm. So you've seen it hit the support line. It's oh, uh, KMX. huh? I just realized what company that was. Yeah, we. I mean, it's some consolidation going on. I can tell you right now, stay away from this company. There's too much. Uh, too much consolidation. We don't know where it's going to break out, but does that mean it's a bad stock? No. If it gets to 110, I would like it a lot more. We could see some nice uh, trend going to the top. If it gets to 115, we all invest. We all make money. We're all happy in the land of make-believe. All right. Where's the next? Uh, BLDR. I want to say it's Boulder. But... Builder. Builder. Uh, be careful with this one right now. So this one right here. Could be, I'm going to say this one could be a good one to the downside. So it broke all the averages to the downside. We've seen a bearish candle. We're not seeing too much volume, but look at all that momentum to the downside. I think we're going to see this stock coming down at least, at least another couple dollars. And there is a risk of it coming to 64. So, but, you know, so unless if it reverses, we could talk about it, but I would stay away from this one. Absolutely not right now. Mm -hmm. Where to next? Um, MRVL. MRVL stands for Marvel Technology. Uh, not a bad one right here. A little concerned with the volume, uh, but we got five million. I mean, that's not too bad, right? Uh, I like that it's coming up already. It's breaking through this, man. I'm gonna say, ooh, I mean, five million in volume. That's not bad. It's not bad. Um, Man, I, I'm going to say, I want to see, I think this is a good one, but I would like to see it break here. Okay. If it breaks 74, so it gets around 75, 76, I think this has a very good chance to go to the top. If it breaks uh, at 78, so if it gets around 80, we all invest and we all kill it. Where's your next? Um, UPST. UPST. I hear that one a lot. Is it the same person asking? Uh, I don't think so. I don't know. Um, I might be a meme stock. So this one here, again, flag pattern. Uh, not something I'm a fan of this stock, to be honest with you. Um, I didn't like it before, but I would say I'm waiting for this thing to pop at 160. Until then, it's just hard to predict. I do like the volume on it. I do think there's some promise to it, but... Nothing. It's too many risky Nothing. things going on here. I want to see it get to like 165. That would be a great spot. 200, we're all invest. We all make money. Where to next? Uh, ADSK. Autodesk. Uh, Autodesk just had a nice move to the top. Uh, it's just kind of retracing here. So we have to yeah. wait. So you can see when, uh, again, a lot of this happened because we, we told you it's going to be a bear, bullish week. So a lot of things happen very nicely. Um, yeah, so at this point right now, we just chill out. We wait, and now it has a new kind of move there. The volume is pretty good. Um, to me, I would love to see it at this point right now at around 235, which breaks uh, the downward channel, and it breaks the 50-year moving day average. I think that could be a huge move, but we got to see it get back to another 25 points. Um, STM. STM, looking all right. This could be a big move. The problem right now is um, I could be a little stretched. So I would like to see what happens in the next week on this one, because look at this, it's breaking through this point. Mm -hmm. So to me, I would say around, uh, I guess right here, 
I would say it would be good uh, because, but I, I have a feeling, just a feeling, we might see it come a little bit to the downside, just a little bit like this, maybe even here, and then go up. So if I use something called the Fibonacci tool. Big fibs. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah, perfect. No, it's right here, actually. So this was the last retracement. So I would say, yeah, around 41, right where I pointed, I could see it coming down as a, at the 50% line and getting back at at least 44, or I'm sorry, at least uh, 42, 41, around the 41 and a half, 42, at least for it to go to the downside before we see it go back up. How's everybody enjoying the show, guys? Um, all right, we got a lot. Again, guys, if you're, if you're just joining, definitely check out our webinar if you haven't. It's going to teach you some great things, and it's free. One hour, six easy steps to make weekly income that I show you. I go very slow and give you the exact thing we need you to do. And all you got to do is comment webinar below. That's all you got to do. Comment webinar below. I'll show you. I'll do it myself. Comment webinar like uh, no <laughs> webinar. There you go. You see, you see, guys. You could uh, you, so you, if you see me, you saw me do that. All you got to do is do that, and we could send you the link. No problems. What's next? Uh, GDS. GDS. Ah, GDS has been very consistently stuck at this one spot here. Hmm. You can see it's a very strong down channel, very dangerous to invest in right now. A lot of volume, so but we've already seen a lot of volume in these crazy moves. Michael Kennard, what's up, man? Johnny Howell, we're going to get Dave Gorby, and he's going to email you or text you right now and get you that for you. What's up, Michael? How you been, man? Hope everything's good. Rob Eden, what's up, bro? Uh, so, yeah, we were just waiting for this to break. I would say I would like to see this at 47 and a half. 50 with the same volume um i could see it already started breaking once um couldn't hold so it's probably that's why we want to do things later on uh during the day so yeah overall not too bad i'm just waiting for 47 and a half intc whoa intc again very stretched over here when you see a big day like that you got to be very careful and you could see the problem with it, it's getting rejected by the 200 day. It's not rejected yet. It's kind of like trying to touch it, but it's it's almost like it's fire. Until it breaks through that, um, we don't want to play this. Now, if it comes back down, different game, we could look at it. But right now, be careful because it, it, it looks like it was just very news driven from what yeah. I see. Um, EVGO. EVGO. Uh, EVGO is looking pretty good. I, I don't I don't necessarily hate this one. This might be a good one here. So EVGO, I like the uptrend. It's continuing on this uptrend right here. Very nice. Breaking through. Uh, I like that it's it's kind of breaking through this line, which has been doing, uh, which is also good. What's up, Jeff? Don't come in here not saying hello, bro. You can't just do that. <laughs> we, Jeff yeah. just came in. Come on, man. The, and he's That's the very kind of. I know Jeff kind is not being kind. Um, and overall, I, I like the volume too. So it looks small here, but if you look, zoom in over 7 million yesterday, that's great. So I'm going to say, I like it. Just be careful uh, with this line. I think we, we definitely got a dollar in it. We definitely got a dollar. So I'm going to put this wow, on the list. Dollars, almost 9%. Yeah. Yes. So EVGO Just getting on the list. EVGO. I can't continue the show without Jeff Kind saying hello. I can't do it. Brian Parrish haven't said hello. Rob Eden, I haven't seen them. Come on, guys. Mike Kennard said hello. We just want to see you guys say hola. What's next? Uh, Disney. I haven't seen that one in a while. And you won't either. So <laughs> it's going to continue staying on the list of downwards. Um, yeah, so this one here it could be something big. I like the flag pattern it, it formed right here. So that's pretty nice. Um, I'd like to see it break this uh, blue line What's right here. What's up, John? Thank you for saying hello. Appreciate it. Um, yeah, I mean, I see some nice things happening over here. I like that. And I just need to see it break this blue. Until then, I just don't feel confident with it because it's been having too many ups and downs. So let's see if it gets to 145 and go from there. Which next? Got HD to the downside. HD to the downside? Uh, could be a good... Oh, all right. I'll go with that. 
So who said that? I'm curious. Um, One of our Jordan. Oh, of course, Jordan. Jordan, the birthday boy, giving us some good stuff. Thanks, Rob Eden. Uh, Rob, hey, Eden, can you do me a favor? Can you tell Jeff Kind to say hello to me? <laughs> I feel rejected at this point. All right. Uh, I'm gonna, look what I'm going to do. Um, yeah, so it looks like over here, looks like it's coming down. Um, I'd like, I mean... I see we have some nice momentum to the downside for sure. Volume's pretty good. So I'm going to say I can't disagree with someone. Uh, Vlad is the mo- What's going on? Let's go. <laughs> Mayor, let me explain something to you. Mayor, you got to understand something. It's Jordan Jackson's birthday today. He's allowed to drink. Okay. He's allowed to have a good time. I don't know what you've been doing, man. Oh, thank you for saying hello. Appreciate that. Hello to you too. Hey. Um, so yeah, I, I would say, yeah, not a bad call. Not a bad call. A little bit to the downside, possibly to 310. Where's your next? Um, well, not a bad put. plug. Did we look at plug? Oh, well, yeah, I mean, maybe in the two. Oh, I we looked ago. at it today. Something oh, no. Uh, plugs looking like it's a nice upward trend, which I like, but if you notice it's being rejected by this 200 day moving average, which is a problem. So we're just waiting for it to break through, get to 31. And then we all play happily ever after. If you aren't having fun, you ain't living. That is true. But you're I like when you're having fun. We, we don't mind the clownness. Um, although I don't know if you're a bigger clown than me. He is, <laughs> but a wild orchid is Dutch Lundy is what's up Dutch Lundy. How are you? Um, Robin Hood, R.H. Robin, oh, I haven't heard that one in a while. Yeah, and I will not. Uh, never been a fan of this one. I don't really wow. like trading with him, to be honest. That's just me. Uh, I just hate it. It's been stuck in this moving day average. It's been stuck over here. Uh, I'm going to say, look. Oh, no, this isn't right. I'm sorry. Oh. I'm looking. I'm like, Tom, ain't no way. It's home improvement. Oh, you're saying it. But Robin yeah. Hood is hood. My bad. Yeah. So here over here, I'm saying, I I just think this needs to kind of get to 420. At least maybe 422, and then we could look at it from there. Um, All right. Thanks, Telly, for going over the 20 and 13 day moving averages. I really see what you were talking about. So, Michael Kennard is actually in our coaching program. Glad you had a nice session with Elliot. And uh, anybody else who's interested in getting some coaching, comment coaching below. We're doing interviews right now. Plus, by just having the interview, we will provide you a five module course. For absolutely free just for joining the call and if you're not a fit you're not a fit no big deal it's not for everybody we only train 15 people a month uh where's the next we got ark a-r-k-k a-r-k-k a-r-k-k-k-k so this one here be very careful with this one i'm not a fan it's been going to the downside pretty strong too close to the 50 moving average and you got the decreased volume. And if that's too much for you to take in, you might have not seen my webinar. Comment webinar below so you can get a good foundation on what we're talking about. Where to next? Uber. Uber, Uber, Uber. Uber, man, that's a lot of stocks. Where are we at now? We got these and those. All right, we're coming close. Definitely, um, yeah, careful. With, so here, if you look here, be careful. I like the volume. I really like the volume. I like the momentum. Everything's looking good. But it's getting rejected by the 50-day moving average. That's a problem. So it broke through a nice move. I think I just, ah, because of this little bit, man, I just need to see it break through because I could see this coming right back down to the 31. So definitely make sure we break through this 50-day moving average around 37. And I think we'd be in good shape. At least 36. At least 36 to even consider. Costco. Costco. I think it's consolidating. Costco is consolidating. Yep. Uh, so right now it's just it's a waiting game on this one. It's a waiting game. So uh, we just want to see it break through this. It's very it's been stuck there. It, like you said, it's going through a little mini consolidation right now. So if it breaks, it could be good. Again, usually this stock when it breaks, it does yeah. big things. <laughs> doesn't always mean it's to the upside so we need confirmation it's very important with this stock to get some good confirmation what's the next slgg slug no, 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 it's a super cool but before we continue we have our second <clears throat> intermission of heartbreak time if you're enjoying the show please give us some hearts 
and we will continue in a second. We just want to see the love from you guys, see who's enjoying the show. If you don't like the show, clock like a chicken really loud in your room. We will hear you. Let's see what we got here. Thank you. Whoa. Whoa, whoa you guys, that was the fastest amount of hearts I've ever seen. Yeah, Holy shenanigans. Machine gun action. Thank you, Ellison. She killed it on that one. Michael Kennard, Lori. I got some mean faces. What's going on? That's my hero, I bet. Mm-hmm. That has to be it. You know, what? even I'm going to give some hearts. I like what I'm seeing here. Dude, we got 120 hearts in a minute. Quick. We might break a record here. We are, we are on pace to break a record, bro. Look at this. 184 already. When was the last time we saw 184? I'm seeing 187s, you know? Wow. We, we're about to get to Dog Sharp. We got to help us out here. Dog Sharp. Dog Sharp. Oh. It's like Dog Sharp. Justin cool. Best. Thank you, guys. Wow. you. We are 49 hearts away from a new record. That's pretty crazy. You guys killing it with the hearts today. My, wow, man. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Lori. Appreciate it. All right. We have 10 more seconds. Let's give all the hard out so we can continue. I, I, we're close, man. We are so close. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. If you're not giving us hearts, come on, because all the new people who are giving us hearts, they count like double. There we go. I think we got that record on this one. It, it, it takes some time to calculate it. Once we once it stops, it takes time to calculate. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. I appreciate the hearts. Appreciate the hearts. All right, we're gonna have to start using this thing. Ooh. Oh, okay, not that happened. <laughs> but we'll, we'll be back up to these messages and your and your thing. All right, let's get that. Thank you, I appreciate it, Lori. Thank you so much. All righty, let's continue to the show. Let's continue with more stocks to buy and why. Appreciate you all. Appreciate you all. That's all, GG. SLGG is uh, uh, just a downward stock, man. They're hitting this 50-day moving day average, continuing to do its thing. So, uh, yeah, not much right there. Not much right there. What's next? Uh, ATVI. ATVI, yeah. Oh my God. Yeah, just stay away from this one, guys. Just, that's all I can say. It's too flat, too everything, big gaps. Not a stock you want to invest uh, in. I'm sorry. EQT. EQT. Uh. EQT, ooh, EQT might be a, a, a winner for me. What do you think? So on this one here, it looks like it's very high to the top. I'm going to have to go back a little bit just to see if that's really the case. Yeah, I would say it's... Uh, let's go to two years and just see where it's at. Uh, man, that's a... So, oh, man, that's a tough one, right? Like where, where do you play this two type of thing? Huh? Uh, I would say, so to me, the way I look at it, in my opinion, is first we gotta kind of take a year off. Let's take a year off on this one so we can get a little clearer view here. Um, it is very high up there. It is very high up there. And here's what's my concern. I'm gonna show it to you right now because I gotta look at patterns of situations. Last time this stock had this much volume yeah. was around here. Okay. Well, that one does okay. So that one's fine. And over here, you could see. And look what happened right afterwards. So that's my issue. Now, here's the other side of it where it comes up. Yeah, so um, I don't know. I feel like over here, it's uh, it's a little bit higher. Jamal Choi says go back five years. If it was my year, I think he's just joking around. But <laughs> right. uh, let me see what you're seeing here in five. I'm going to do weekly just in case. Five years. Oh, thank you for that. See, Jamal Choice is one of our elite members, and he knows the deal here. We go a lot more intense than those. Um, all right. So on this one here, ah, uh, yep. Thank you for calling that out, Jamal. Appreciate that. I uh, appreciate that. That's a good call, Jamal. I got to give you some, you know, some thumbs up. I would give uh, definitely some uh, likes to Jamal because that was a good call out. I did not see that. Very nice. I'm glad you elite thing is working for you here. For is it? Yeah. Um, and so it looks like it's like right there. I would not invest in this one because it has been there. I that was my fault. He he just showed me out by only going two years, just assuming. Never assume because you know what? Assuming makes 
ah. some bearish plays. Um, so yeah, so this one here did break out of this one, but yeah, even here you could see that. So now mm -hmm. I'm going to change my mind and say no, no, we are not going to risk it. Not over this stuff. All right. Uh, QCOM. Uh, you are what? <laughs> That's the name of the stock. All right, cool. So this one here um, could be good, could be good, but it needs to break this line here, man. It needs to break this line. And honestly, for me to really like this one, I would see it 175 because I really want to see it break through everything. But could be good right now, decreasing volume. So I think it's going to do good things in a, sh in a little bit, maybe a week or two. Uh, AMD. AMD, you. I might, find, I might like this one here. I like what I'm seeing here. So you could see this stock here uh, is breaking through some big averages uh, until Jamal Choice gives me something to look at, kill the whole party for us. Come on, <laughs> man. Um, so, yeah, so it looks like here it's coming together, breaking through that beautiful volume, beautiful move to the top. I like everything I'm seeing. I'm calling this one as one of my favorites. Great job, AMD. Who called out AMD? Uh, Let me know who called out AMD. I'd love to know. It wasn't, it wasn't that long ago. Who called out AMD? Ron. Let me get, huh? Ron. Ron? Mm -hmm. Ron who? Ron Weezy. No, uh, Ace Booth. Very nice, man. Good, good call out on that one. I like it. What's your next? Uh, HQY. Juanel Chavez, how are you? James Lewis, what's up? What is it? Uh, HQY. HQ. Oops, that was my fault. Uh, HQY. Spanish, H. Yes. <laughs> uh, this might be a good one. This might be a good one. The volume's okay. Uh, what don't I like? Very simple. We will find out in one second after these messages. Um, Man, this is a tough one, bro. I, I just... Do you, uh, I just want to see, so I, I'd have to see it probably at, towards the end. Nothing much, I mean, James. Hope everything's good. Uh, 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 yeah, um, I just need to at least see a little more volume. It is a good one, though. It is a good one. I'm just concerned about this. I could see this being a strong rejection, just like it was over here, just like it was over there. So you just got to be careful with that. What's your next? Uh, PAC. PAC, oh man. How is it? Uh, PAC is a little stretched out. It looks good, but when you're having all these days together and then we're seeing these mm -hmm. lower volumes and we're seeing this kind of start turning a little bit to the corner, I'm gonna say I can't I can't recommend that right now. Again, you can see whenever it has these huge days, it has these huge downturns. The higher, the stronger the days, the stronger the fall. Be careful. What's um, next? IMPP. All right. If you're enjoying IMPP here, let me know. Uh, personally, I'm not a fan of the IMPP right now because part of it is it's a too new of a stock. It's the, it just turned 50 days old. You know, it's not as old as uh, let's just say Jordan Jackson who's 21 today. Happy birthday. Um, yeah, uh, it just looks like it's just all over the place. Definitely not something I'd recommend. <laughs> let's wait to get till it gets to 200 days. You could see here, it's still undefined. We're waiting for 200 days to even consider anything like this. But I would personally not even yeah, consider this stock. No. Um, VHT. VHT. How long do we hold these chosen stocks? Good question. So we do a lot of swing trading here. So it's usually two, one day, two days, sometimes like up to a week hold. Um, so really, um, we go over that a lot. So some of the, some of the lives I have, I do go over strategies for exiting stocks. So to me, uh, depending on the play, I'm looking to get like a certain percentage, but I'm also looking at support and resistance as well. So again, if you're interested, what I would strongly recommend is check out our webinar. We go over a little bit more in detail. So uh, Jonathan, if you haven't seen it, just comment webinar below and I'll get you, I'll get you the link. It's free. I would definitely check that out. We like to give stuff away. Uh, VHT here. So this one just had a nice upswing. It's kind of coming down. And I believe it's going to get, I, this is what I'm thinking is going to happen. It's going to get stuck in this area for a little bit. Why do I think that? Because every time it goes up, it gets stuck in this little area for a little bit, for a little bit, for a little bit. So we're just waiting here at this point. Wiggle it just a moho. 
this again, under, the, this, this under the English age. Uh, yeah, it's just a penny stock. It's not something I really trade, unfortunately. Uh, just not not my type of game. Too much risks involved with things like this. So I personally just don't trade that. I apologize. Uh, I would not recommend this. FCX, a little copper action. FCX. This one's looking pretty good. Pretty good. Um, a little bit to the high side right now. So, um, What's up, Phil Burnside? How are you, man? Monica Monique, Monica C. Monique, how are you? Um, anybody else who just joked? Uh, anybody else who just joined? <laughs> welcome. Um, again, guys, if you're interested in the webinar, comment webinar below. We'll get you my six steps to six figures that I use to leave my job and not have to work. And that's always a good, good time. But if you're interested, yeah, just comment below. And we'll get you that. It's a simple link. Um, we just can't put it on here. It's free. So just comment webinar. Uh, this one here is just holding this tight, pretty tight. So to me, I would not mess with this right now. This channel has been going like this for a while. So uh, all I see in this one right now is a nice uh, retracement to the bottom before we get to the top. Where's your next? Um, Doug Sharp, we got you. So David's going to reach out to you. He's going to send you that webinar. I-R-B-T. If not, L. Okay, it is I. Glad you're doing good, man. Thanks for joining us, Phil. Earnings or something. What's going on? Uh, yeah. Uh, so when I see a big gap here, I usually get concerned. So we got to find out what it's for, what the gap is for. And you got to be really careful too, because we have, um, this formation here, which is another strong channel here. So because of the gap, I would stay away from it. It's too much volume. We need to figure out why. Uh, it's probably something fundamental, probably something fundamental. Just my guess. Where's the next one? VLO. VLO uh, just broke. Uh, so it broke a, a nice move here to the top, but it is very low volume switch. So you got to be very careful here. Not really what I'm looking for right here. So, but it does have that A to B, B to C, C to D pattern. So I'm going to say at this point, I could see this coming down a little bit before it gets back up there. And that's normal because it's getting away from the averages. And every time it gets away from the average, it comes right back down to the average, as Michael Kennard saw. Cool. Uh, where's the next? That's it. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. Oh, we hit right three o'clock. Listen, guys, it's been an absolute pleasure. Hope you're enjoying this show. Here's the deal, okay? Uh, next week, I'm just gonna, it looks to me like we might be getting back into the bullish side. We had a little bit of retracement. We will know that on Tuesday, Tuesday. So come back here on Tuesday. And if you're watching a replay right now, comment replay below, okay? Definitely, if I could get some more hearts before we go, we like them a lot. Thank you so much for the people who are giving it to us. Thank you. Um, Tuesday, we're going to go over some of the stocks that we picked today. Uh, let me review the stocks that we did do today. You're welcome, Brian C. Johnson. Um, thanks, Alex Guerrero. Appreciate that. GLDM, AMD, EVGO. Oh, and, uh, and uh, EVGO. And yeah, I said EVGO. It is AV and EV. Oh, okay. Yeah. So AMD, GLDM, EVGO. I can't read that. AVGO. And AVGO. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. AVGO. So you got those. Thank you guys. As always, man, thank you for joining. Really appreciate you taking the time out of your day to really join us, checking us out. Always, if we recommend you, just share our group. You know, we want to help as many people as possible to be able to leave their jobs so we could teach that to us. And again, if you're interested in the webinar, comment webinar. If you're interested in coaching, comment coaching. We'd love to help you. Either way, guys, really appreciate everything. I will see you all on Tuesday.